Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Silent Core and welcome back to my Red Dead series. Today I'm going to be talking about the Moonshine Bar and Band optional upgrades that you can purchase in your Moonshine Shack. And there's actually a pretty big buyer's beware that comes along with this one. Now the reason I wanted to make this video is because the Moonshine Bar and Band are actually quite misleading in the way they're advertised to us. Maggie tells us if we purchase these, where it's going to bring in customers, we're going to have our own speakeasy, and we're going to be able to decorate it, and it's going to really complement the business. However, it has no passive income. In fact, there's no benefits at all to having these very expensive upgrades, or even having any kind of speakeasy to your business. These are purely cosmetic upgrades. I mean, don't get me wrong, these upgrades do look great, they have some fun little quirks I'll show in this video, but ultimately if you're someone that only cares about your moonshine business and are in this to make money, I would not purchase either of these upgrades. And I can't help but feel like Rockstar kinda missed a bit of a trick here. I think that having our own speakeasy could have been a really fun and interesting way to have some sort of passive income since we have all these people in our speakeasy, they're buying drinks, they're drinking our moonshine, it would kind of make sense for us to have some sort of income, even if it was just tiny, like, you know, 20 or $30 a day, to have something, some sort of benefit from getting these upgrades. So the bar expansion costs one roll token and $950, and that will also unlock the ability to purchase the band expansion for two roll tokens and $850. So all in all, you'll be paying 1800 for both of these expansions. And it basically just opens up a whole new room on the basement level of your Moonshack property. So if you get together with a few friends or posse members, you can have a bit of fun down here, you can play as members of the band, there's six different instruments you can play, everything from the washboard, a guitar, a fiddle, piano, bass and even a banjo and you can let the band take over or even interject at any stage and tell them you want a shot on that instrument and you can actually play it. There's also a fun little easter egg where if you get drunk first, some of the letters will look pretty messed up and you'll end up playing the instrument very badly. The bar expansion allows you to play bartender and you can serve drinks on the bar and slide them along the bar which I thought was a pretty cool animation there and you can basically serve the type of moonshine that you're currently brewing. There's also some moonshine barrels at the back that serve weak moonshine, and you can also drink that for free. But yeah, that's pretty much the extent of it. You'll have a lot of random NPCs down here drinking, having a good time, but obviously there's no real benefit from having it. The only upgrades you guys should really consider is the condenser upgrade. You can buy this at level 5 moonshiner, and this will allow you to produce average strength moonshine that will sell for more money you can buy the condenser upgrade for $825. And then the second upgrade is the polished copper upgrade, and this will allow you to produce strong moonshine, and you can purchase this one when your moonshiner rank is level 10. The polished copper upgrade will cost $875 and 3 roll tokens, however if you do have Twitch Prime you can actually get this upgrade for free. So if you are someone that has Amazon Prime yourself, or you want to redeem the trial to get this free upgrade, you can do so. Or if you even have a family member that pays for Amazon Prime and doesn't use the Twitch Prime benefits, you can link your Twitch account to their Amazon account and reap all the benefits. I've made a whole separate video showing how exactly to link all of those accounts and get the free rewards, so I'll have that linked on screen and also in the description below. And these are the only two upgrades that will actually have some sort of an effect on your business and result in you actually making more money. All the other upgrades and expansions are only for cosmetic and looks purposes. But yeah, aside from recording this video, I'm probably not going to really spend a whole lot of time in my bar or with my band. There's only really so much piano I can actually play in Red Dead Online before I get bored. So I thought I'd make this buyer's beware for you guys. I know this is quite a lot of money, $2,000 can be a lot of money to some of you, so I wouldn't want you to unlock this thinking you're going to make some kind of passive income or it's going to help your business in any way, because it's just not. If any of your friends are considering buying these expansions, feel free to share them this video so they can see what it's going to look like before they buy it, and you can just let them know that it's going to be a purely cosmetic expansion. If you guys do enjoy these videos, I'd really appreciate it if you could take a few seconds to leave them a like and also subscribe so you don't miss out on any future breaking news. Have a good one guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.